Right, so a few days ago, Native Instruments announced their brand new version of Complete, and it's Complete 13. Now, if you don't know what Complete is, basically, it's a huge sample library of a multiple different virtual instruments and expansions and effects that you can use inside of your digital audio workstation. It's gonna help you take your music from sounding like uh, DIY music bedroom demos to professional sounding projects. And trust me, that's what happened when I purchased Complete 12. Ultimate. Now in today's video, I want to talk about some of the new things that are going to be added to Complete 13 and also which edition should you consider purchasing or upgrading to. So 12 months ago, I picked up a copy of Complete 12 Ultimate, and normally this software package would run you over 1,000 pounds, but I got this in the Native Instruments Sound of Summer sale, where it was around 50% off. So I got it for about 450 pounds, combined with the Machina Jam, which is a control surface that Native Instruments create. I also had student discount at the time, which made it even cheaper. So I was absolute steal. I should have had a balaclava on because I was just simply robbing native instruments. Now the awesome thing about Complete in general is not only does it improve the sound quality of your productions, it also enables new creativity that you would never have thought of because there's some instruments inside of here that I had never tried out. Not only did it improve the sounds I already had, better violin sounds, better drum sounds in the session drummer, but it also gave me new pianos that I'd never thought of, it really soundscapes-esque uh, sensibility and textures to them that took my music creation in a new direction. Now here are some of the most notable things that have been added to Complete 13 and there's two things that I want to talk about in particular. Not First one is the Guitar Rig Pro 6. Now previously we had Guitar Rig 5 inside of Complete 12 and it was a fantastic program, brilliant software. Now inside of Guitar Rig, you could run like amplifier modelers, like Marshall style amps, Fender style amps, to basically create guitar tones and get ideas out. Now I personally found it fantastic for sketching out tracks. You could just chuck in Guitar Rig, get a rough tone, write some quick solos, some quick chords, and it would get the idea down before I spent the time to actually set up the proper amp that I wanted to record the track with. Another thing that I loved about it was the actual effect tracks built inside of the guitar rig. This allowed you to create insane sonic possibilities. The beautiful delays, beautiful like phase effects, really, really nice com combinations you could create. Now, one of the main things I actually used guitar rig for was for my bass guitar. Majority of actually the bass guitar sounds you maybe heard on any of my, my tracks that I've released online was with the guitar rig basses. Uh, bass amps because it was just so easy to just plug this in straight via a DI, record the bass part and then think about the tone later on. Now inside of Guitar Rig 6 Pro, they've added three new amplifiers and 16 brand new effects. Now the three new amplifiers are, one is for the bass, so it's called Bass Invader, which is pretty funny. And then they have two new ones for the electric guitar. So the first one for the electric guitar is the Fire Breather, and then they've also added the Chicago. So the Chicago is sort of that mid 50s vibe, pretty nice name, very fitting, and the aesthetics of the amplifier just, you know, match that name perfectly. But the one I'm most excited about is the Fire Breather. Now the Fire Breather is basically a Marshall amplifier, but it's like been modified to be the more American high gain sound compared to the more British sounding amplifiers that Marshall may make. So it's basically just gonna be that super high gain, beautiful, thick guitar sound, which I'm a huge fan of. Now, some other notable things that has happened inside of the Guitar Rig update is they've redesigned the modeling within the plugin. So theoretically, you should get more authentic and responsive and natural sounding guitar tones coming out of the plugin. And another cool thing that they've enhanced is the microphone positioning. Now, something I was a huge fan of inside of Logic Pro X stock guitar amps was how you could move around the microphones on the amp cabinet. And you can now do this inside of Guitar Rig 6 with this enhanced version of the cabinet that they've done. You can see here, we can sort of mess around with the types of microphones and combined microphones, so it's even more detailed than what we previously had.
Now, the next thing I actually want to talk about that's new is the Cremona Quartet. Now, this is basically like a beautiful, uh, really retro, historic sounding string quartet. And it's going to give you that beautiful like concert hall, ballroom dance type of sound. And they've took real instruments from the 1600s and they've like mic them up in extreme excruciating detail so you get the best fidelity possible out of this sample library. There's 20 different articulations for the, the violins and the violas and all that inside of the quartet and I really like these types of sounds and I think native instruments do a beautiful job of these string library packs. From my experience with Complete 12 Ultimate, absolutely stunning. Now they've also added this arc hiss as well which just allows you to create some beautiful layering and sonical sounds it sounds nice once again now i believe the other things that have been added aren't 100 percent new they already existed as standalone plugins but they've now just combined them into the complete package and an example of this is the noir uh, grand piano pack beautiful sounding grand piano but it already existed and you could buy it separately but they've now just thrown it into the complete package now, when it comes to actually selecting a software package to go with, there's four different options with Complete 13, just like there was with Complete 12. Now, with Complete 13, we have Complete 13 Select, which is the bare bones version of Complete. And you can actually get this for free if you own a Native Instruments S series keyboard, whether that be an S49 or an S61 or you can even get it with a Machina control surface. So if it's a Machina Jam like I have, or one of the Machina drum pad ones. You can pick Complete Select 13 up for free, bundled in with those software packages. Now, where it gets interesting is actually the standard edition through to the ultimate tier. Now, I said it gets interesting when you start taking a look at these higher tiers. And what I was actually talking about was the upgrade price that's available. So if you were to upgrade from a lesser version of Complete, whether that be Complete 2, which is ancient, all the way through to Complete 12, it's only going to cost you £169 to go from your old version of Complete to Complete 13. So imagine if you were running like something like Complete 2, and for £169 you could get Complete 13. That is insane value. You're going to be blown away by not only the new stuff that's been added in Complete 13, but all of the new stuff that was added in older versions like 11, 12, 9. It's just going to revolutionize your entire world. And also you can upgrade other versions as well. Uh, like the Ultimate and also the Collector's Edition. Now, the reason why I'm such a huge fan of Complete in general is just how much value it is. Just take a look at this, for example. We right here have the Complete 13 Ultimate Edition selected, and this gives you uh, 122 like effects and instruments, which is over one terabyte of sounds, which is crazy. Now, this, if you were to buy each instrument individually, each plugin on its own, each effect on its own, each expansion on its own, that would cost you over £16,000, whereas if you buy it in this bundle, it only costs you £1,349, which is, wow, seriously. At first you think it's expensive, but then when you actually break down what you're getting, it's actually really, really cheap. Now, if you're actually going to be purchasing your Complete 13 brand new, I would highly recommend waiting around six months until the Sound of Summer sale happens again. That's when I purchased my Complete 12 ultimate for like up to 50% off and it was 100% worth the wait and also worth the saving and they do these sales every single year I've seen it happen now like three years two years consecutively So there's a high chance that they'll do it again this summer. So if you really want the higher tier Maybe it's worth waiting if you can do that or you could buy a lesser tier like the complete 13 standard and buy an upgrade at a much cheaper price in that sound of summer to get yourself the collector's edition for example but seriously these packages are so good I've thoroughly enjoyed having complete 12 so if you enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and let me know in the comment section down below which version of complete will you purchase the complete 13 ultimate standard or will you just buy complete 12 because it's going to be on sale because some people want to get rid of those codes but as always I've been Ben Rollins thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one